Yeah, we're just trying to more or less, yeah, get as many like different opinions and thoughts and you know the technology, the social aspects, you know, yeah. many things like that. Just just all the different aspects of it and just put them together and I know just put something out there and maybe um, inform people who aren't aren't informed about it. So mm. yeah, yeah that's a lot. So hopefully it turns out right. <laughs> Do you have an Xbox then? I have an Xbox, but I do PC gaming. Are you you're more on PCs? Yeah. So a lot, how much time roughly like could you spend, you know, gaming? Uh, it's a lot less time than it, it used to be. Like now, it's say probably talking a couple of hours a night anyway. Like. Uh, actually, not too like not too bad. But yeah. You spend more time if you had the chance, like. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I'd go up to three, four in the morning if I could, like. <laughs> I can see the like the draw to it, you know what I mean, where people it's a more competitive sort of I don't know, arena could it be the word like than just facing the computer constantly and it's it does give a lot of games, you know, longer life to play them and but uh, personally I don't it just doesn't interest me enough to go out and warrant paying money for like Xbox Live or whatever. It just doesn't it just doesn't uh, it doesn't interest me. No. Do you uh, do you think that most people play online though, or yeah, definitely. Like most, mo I would say more people play online than not. To be honest, a uh, bit of both. If I have like friends over, I'll play with them in in the room and just get like another mode. But uh, yeah, I play online as well. Yeah. Do you um do you ever feel that like you need to play, or is it just a leisure activity? Like, do you it's, uh, sort of a bit of both? Like with some of the games you're trying to level up and you sort of say, right, if I get to this level, you you know, you'll know you feel good about it. Um, I'm just about to go and look for the games development students, hoping they'll have some interesting things to say. Like, um, I'm guessing they will, like, considering they're games development students. So, let's do it. Probably in gaming, probably about eight hours a night, maybe more. Eight hours a day, like? Like, yeah, uh, eight hours a day, like. The what, like, do when you get home from? Whenever I get home from tech. You just play straight yeah, on if I'm, if I'm, That's if I'm not working. And then social networks, and more or less all the time. Because, like, I'm on Facebook, I'm on my phone all the time. So it's a pretty big part of your life, like, yeah. gaming and yeah. social networking. That's pretty interesting. Um, the, have you... Do you spend like a lot of money on games or do you just kind of, you know, like lend games off your friends and things like that? I'd buy games too, if it depends, like, if I think they look good, like, I'll go out and buy them.
just on the way up to a game here now. Hopefully, you're gonna get an interview with uh, Dean, the manager there. He's been um, he's been working there for like ten years, so hopefully, he still have some interesting stuff to say. Games. We know puzzle games, survival horror, especially is one of my favorite, my favorite genres. Like so, um, just anything really that, that tickles me, I'll, I'll hang it. But you know, Bioshock yeah. or Batman: Arkham Asylum, to name but a few were, were two of my big favorites as well. So enjoy those. Like, what about money ways? Do you find yourself spending like a bit too much money, or you just you know? Well, no, no. I mean I don't. I don't try and have ten different titles at home yeah. at one time. You know, I do have both the new machines, but I'll only ever have one game per console at one time. I mean, currently I've only got, well, Black Ops and, and the new Fight Night as well, like so. Regarding prices of games and consoles, do you think it's too much? Do you think it's do you not think at it's all. perfect? Do you not at all. Pay? I remember spending forty pound on Streets of Rage for the Mega <laughs> Drive in yeah. nineteen ninety two. So there you go. Like if you look at it that way, they haven't really changed. Yeah. And you would think, given that they're putting them on Blu-rays now, they're spending fifty million dollars to produce these games, that they would be more expensive. But I think forty pounds is a good put it this Like if you go out on Saturday night, what's it going to cost you? Yeah, something. Well, thanks a lot for your time. You're welcome. Um, we're just going to head into town here and hopefully get a few interviews with some of the people. Um, try and gather a few thoughts, opinions, what if they play, how much they play games or whatever. And we're going to see how it turns out. Um, yeah, definitely. I'd be more, be more using like just computer and that than anything else, just using Facebook through that, like, so. Uh, so you don't use like consoles, you don't play like online with friends and things like that? I would, I would die from time to time, like, it's just, well, only whenever I'm sort of bored, like, really. It's just kind of like a hobby, you wouldn't take over your life or anything? Ah, oh, exactly. Um, I suppose more so like, uh, fighting and driving games, yeah. really. Stuff like, uh, Need for Speed and that there, and like fighting games and you know, uh, Street Fighter and stuff like that. I do know a couple of people that used to hang about with from like Sacred Heart and whatnot who would have been like wild massively in the game and that there like you know to the point where it's sort of like Jesus Christ just get outside man. Yeah, uh, kind of taking over their life. Yeah, yeah. Actually, actually knew a guy who uh, he got that he got really mixed up with what he was talking about and he was, he was referring to something outside it was really nice and he goes he says you see if they could make a game of graphics like outside and I goes hang on what, what was that graphics <laughs> outside I, that's a good game wasn't it? Um, I was just about to get up and go to my brother's house now. Um, he's agreed to give us an interview, and I'm hoping that he'll be able to give us an insight to how the game has evolved. You know, because he's like 25, so he's been gaming a long time. So yeah. And obviously it's a big step from where we've come like from the past ten years like. Definitely. I mean, I remember when I was younger, like used to fight over the computer, like. Yeah, exactly. One or two people and you were lucky if you had four controllers for four people like, but now yeah. there's millions and millions of fun people online like. So um, I don't know, it's pretty interesting, like the technology behind it is kind of amazing, but I don't know, it just doesn't grip me anymore. I used to be Used to be very interested in it when I was like a lot younger, but I don't know, it's just 
doesn't interest me that much anymore. It's very rare that I would sit down and play Xbox. Oh. It's just a hobby, really. Any time I can get in between, you know, work and spending time with a girlfriend, it's on the Xbox. Was it ever getting in the way of you and your girlfriend then? Uh, I'd like to think not, but she probably thinks so, alright. I think she spent a bit too much time. Uh, I'd say so. Well, for online games, I like to play football games or first person shooter games. But for these games that I don't play online, like campaign games like Dead Space. You wouldn't play them online at all? No. You don't enjoy playing with other people? No, no, no. It's <laughs> just that I won't play the game anymore. Yeah. So you have different, you know, different atmospheres, so better different games, like? Thanks. So uh, what would you, I mean, do you enjoy playing on your own more, or do you enjoy playing with lots of people more? Uh, probably, I just prefer playing by myself. A different thing completely? Yeah, rather than having to chat to different people and make conversations, sometimes it's nice to be by yourself and just, you know, chill out. Yeah, totally. I um, I've just finished shooting the documentary, so I'm hoping that when it comes together, we've got something that's entertaining and maybe give people like an insight to the life of gamers or something. So, yeah.